You only have a limited time to get through to the Krusty Krab before the roadblocks fall into place. Then we'd be stuck here with you. That's right. So you better hurry. Hello and welcome back to some more of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Where last episode we played through Welcome to Playing Topless Minions, which is the final platforming uh, level of the entire game. Now all that's left is a driving level. <laughs> what fun! And the final boss of the game. So today we're going to be playing through Drive of the Knucklehead Mix Spazitron, which is a pretty clever reference to the movie. But the level itself, mmm. So it gets one single point for having a nice callback because. Something you may notice as we're driving through here is that this is actually Sandwich Driving 101 played in reverse. So it's a nice bit of uh, full circle-ness to that. So the game gets a few points for game design here. Well, you know what it gets points off for? The, the way it's... Okay, boost here. Boost here. Max boost. You have to make it underneath the statue before it falls. Because if, if you are not on the other side of the statue before it falls, you'll be trapped over there and you fail the challenge. Which is what I was talking about earlier. Remember when I, remember when I like a minute ago when I said, "Hey, you know what? You know what? What this? You know how this level doesn't get any points for? Um, it's overall design in terms of gameplay because, as Mindy explained, there are several instances. That's not the only one. There are several instances throughout this entire level where many things will be crashing down all around you, and if you are not fast enough, you will be stuck on the other side of whatever came crashing down, and you will be unable to proceed with the rest of the level. You will fail the challenge and have to do it all over again, which, of course, is some." quality game design, if I do say so myself. Especially since you have almost no way of knowing. Because some of them some of them are fake outs, some of them are actual dangers, and there's no way to tell them between the two. Anyway, um, so here what you want to do is you want to drive straight into this plankton statue right here to cause a domino effect to knock over all the plankton statues. Now maybe thinking to yourself, oh, why are we doing this? Is it gonna knock is it gonna knock into a wall or something? Nope. It's it's not. It's just gonna cause that to fall, despite the fact that they're nowhere near each other, but whatever, it gives us a treasure chest, so that's something at least. Yeah, you, you want to store your nitros. There's no time limit for this first round anyway. So you want to store all your nitros for the for the moments when you have to where, where you have the possibility of getting stuck under something, such as right now. So you want you want to save your nitros for when uh for, for, for moments like that. So anyway, treasure chest two is coming up here right ahead. We're gonna head into this tunnel. Uh, now this is sneaky because there's a little hidden path up here that you can take. It's it, there's no way to know it's here basically. Um, but there is a treasure chest in here that you can collect if, if you if you know to look for that path, which, trust me, I didn't when I first played this game. Excuse me, I had no clue that that was there. Anyway, two more treasure chests to go. I guess I should explain that. There's four treasure chests in this level. We've collected two so far. And they're the... Oh, this right here. Okay. I gotta explain this. Slow down a little bit. When you reach this section with the three archways, slow down a little bit and pay attention to the doors. Because it's random every single time. Two doors will close, one after the other. It is random every single time. There's no way to predict it. Two doors will close, and one of them will stay open, but not forever. So you have to wait a little bit, not long, like just half a second, oh, almost, just to pay attention to which door is safe to go through so you can readjust your positioning and steer in the correct direction. Once you know, once you see the door that has not yet to close, which will be the third door that hasn't closed yet, boost max speed to get through this door because it will close behind you if you are not fast enough. So, you know... Another instance of that quality game design we were talking about earlier. Anyway, this is the park, only this time there's a bunch of lava lava spills and oil spills. Because that's what we really wanted, right? Just a bunch of bunch of projectiles all over the place with the uh, with the abysmal handling of this car. Anyway, drive off towards the grass right here. You'll find a treasure chest next to this tower. That is the third of the four treasure chests that we can collect thus far. Um, and now we only have one more to go. Okay, this right here. Once the ramp comes up, boost max speed. You may even need to use two nitros here uh, to get inside that door because it will close behind you if you're not fast enough. Now, when you uh, when you when you get out here, slam on the brakes and then reverse because you have to. Yeah, again, quality level design. You have to go backwards into this um, room right here to get the final treasure chest of the game. How are you supposed to know that's there? No clue. But there's a room there that has the final treasure chest. So now that is every single treasure chest collected throughout the entire game. Which is, we also have every single extra lock throughout the entire game. Uh, and I, I may show off some of these um, in the in the finale. But for now, that's really all that... I uh, did not mean to hit that. That's really... Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay. Uh, pro speed running tactics, apparently. That That's all this level has to offer. That's basically the end right there. Because, the, yeah, the finish line's right here. So just go ahead and boost over the finish line. And that is the level over. By the way, my controller vibrated through that, that entire loading screen. Just so you know. 
Okay, so now we're at the final boss, but we're not going to do this yet because we want to save it for tomorrow. Uh, what we're going to do instead is head back to this level and start doing all the challenges, which... Uh, I mean, again, we're just numb to it at this point. Anyway, uh, you may remember me saying in a previous episode that this level makes absolutely no sense in terms of the story. Well, because at this point in the movie, the way this happened... So, I don't know, if you haven't seen the movie, I'll, I'll give a brief synopsis, because if you're playing the game, you, you, you'll you have the whole plot spoiled for you anyway. You should still watch the movie, though, it's great. Um, at this point, basically what happens is it's an incredibly tense climax, where SpongeBob and Patrick just barely make it out of Shell City alive, um, and they're riding on David Hassel they're riding David Hasselhoff's back to get back to Bikini Bottom in time. He's carrying them across the ocean uh, in the hopes that they can get back to Bikini Bottom in time to save Mr. Krabs. All while that's happening, Plankton is uh, sitting in the Krusty Krab watching the show, like watching as as King Neptune is about to is about to fry Mr. Krabs essentially, incinerate him. Um, you know, his plane's got a bucket of popcorn and all that. All while Mindy's doing everything she can to stall King Neptune from from uh, from from killing Mr. Krabs. Um, it, it comes down to the wire, like a millisecond difference, because um, because basically, sure, uh, David, Has David Hasselhoff gets SpongeBob Patrick back to Bikini Bottom, but they still have to, well, they would still have to float down to the, to the to the ocean floor, and then get into the Krusty Krab in time to save Mr. Krabs, which they knew they didn't have enough time to do that. So uh, Hasselhoff launches them down, and they're they're slicing through the air, max speed, propelling themselves down towards the ground. They crash through the crusty, the roof of the Krusty Krab at the exact moment that King Neptune fires his, his um, uh, uses his, his, um, his, his staff thing. I, I don't know why the, the, the name is, is escaping me for some reason, but, uh, right, right as he fires at, at, at uh, King Neptune, at King Neptune, at Mr. Krabs, to reflect the beam up towards the sky, away from Mr. Krabs, they brought the crown back, and they save the day. Now, obviously, that's not the whole climax. It's still something that happens after that. But that's the that's the part of this movie that is pertinent right now because that is extremely tightly paced. It's fast-paced action. It's like down to the wire in terms of whether or not they're gonna they're gonna make it back in time. Um, so also, we got lucky. It was usually it's the, usually we don't get that lucky. It's usually random every single time. But I guess on this run we got lucky and we got the same we got the same door twice in a row. So that's nice. Anyway, yeah. So. uh... And in this, in, in, in this game, <clears throat> in this game, however, we have SpongeBob and Patrick, you know, kind of leisurely driving through the park, you know, of no rush whatsoever. They're just kind of, did I? Sure. Random spin. Okay. Sure. Random spell that I can't see. Quality game design. We made it through with actually more health this time, so now I'm just gonna have to rely on my boosts. Uh, of course, there's a. Yep, that would. Mm. Sure do love this game. Sure is a bucket of fun. Oh, look at that. It, you know, it's, it's like, ordinarily it's like, oh look, there's, I, I can clearly see there's an oil spill there. Quick, let me adjust my positioning so that I don't, you know, run into the oil spill. You know, competent game design. Like, the player has time to react to obstacles around you. Yeah, not in this game. In this game, it just literally spawns the oil spill directly in front of you. So, some high quality game design here. Produces some myself. Well... We made it in the allotted time for the, uh, for the time challenge, uh, but for the macho time challenge, oh, I'll let Mindy speak. Here is your reward. <laughs> for the macho time challenge, honestly, if we didn't hit that bridge, um, and we didn't get stuck in the tunnel with the water, Probably would have been fine because the time limit for Macho Time Challenge is two minutes and thirty-five seconds, give or take. I mean, I've been, I, I've usually been, typically about like five seconds off, so it wasn't a, I, I, I've been pretty accurate with my times thus far. It's usually, usually in that in that ballpark. So, but first, of course, we gotta get to the ring challenge. They were very kind. I'll say this much: they were very kind to not put any rings underneath the plankton statue, so you have plenty of time. To react to it and not and, and just focus on getting past the plankton statue before you have to worry about any rings so at least at least they got that much done but yeah there's no there's no crazy jumps this time like there were in uh, oh, okay went the wrong way there's no crazy jumps like there were in uh google guys and smelling knickknacks there's no there's no crazy multiple directions like there were in sunday driving it's just a straight up follow the follow the path go through all the rings and then you'll be you'll be good to go is basically what this is uh, I, I I did take a little bit of hit there, uh, but fortunately, oh dear God! Okay, I didn't know if we were gonna hit that. We're we gonna drive. I, okay, we almost drove. We almost drove straight past that one. That would have been bad. 
Unfortunately, we don't have to wait for the uh, for the gate to open, but, but we do unfortunately have to go down this this road made out of literal oil. Oh great! Oh my favorite! Oh my favorite! Oh my favorite! Oh my favorite! Oh the controls are so good. This game is so good. Just just slip right past the ring. Nothing you can possibly do. Just slip right past it. Let's see if the oil is gonna screw me over this time. Will it? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Maybe, maybe we can recover this one, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe if we, maybe if we just go, can we actually recover this one? Yes, we can. What do you know? We somehow managed to actually recover. I never thought I'd see the day when the the oil wasn't was less annoying than the water, because at least the oil, it messes with your handling, but at least it doesn't push you in the wrong direction. That was close. At least it doesn't push you in the direction you don't want to go, so that if you miss the ramp, you're just you're, you're just no. Oh, oh, that was close. Almost at the teeny barrels. You're just screwed out of the gate. Okay, let's not hit the rocks. We don't lose any more additional health. Okay, so we are going to go down the water this time, which I honestly not too worried about this one because this one's on a very linear path. There's no chance for, at least there shouldn't be a chance to missing any ramps. I'm pretty sure the rings will take up the entire width of the, of the river. Or they won't. Or they won't. Or they won't. Or they won't. Quality game design. 10 out of 10. Oh, this game is so good. All right, take two down the river of hell. Let's see if we can actually manage to go through the rings this time and not like there's there's like an inch on the side less than an inch that you can actually miss these rings on and somehow we managed to pull it off somehow we managed to do it i don't know how and okay i thought i thought we were gonna do it again i thought we were gonna miss it again but fortunately we did not miss it again i'm gonna take i'm gonna okay well that didn't help me i was gonna take a hit so that we could actually okay uh over here boost 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 again credits to the game designers for not putting any rings in those gates or on the or under those arches I, I gotta give credit. I I, I, I want to be fair about this. I want to be totally fair about this. I, I, I don't want to just hate on the game blindly. It, it may it may seem like I'm doing that, but I, I do want to remind people that I have been I have given points where where oh no no don't don't do that. I have given credit where credit is due. Absolutely, there are there are things this game does decently well. So I I'm, I'm being totally fair about this. Um, it's just that the game d clearly does a lot more badly than it does does things well. So. Which is, un which is unfortunate, because the game, the movie deserves such a better game than this. It really, really did. Um, but on the bright side, barring any unforeseen circumstances, I think we're going to make it through the ring challenge. I don't think there's anything that can possibly kill us here, so let's just, we'll just use up the rest of our nitros. And I'll save the last one for this ramp to get into the final ring. And we're clear. We win. There we go. We did it. You did it. Here's your reward. All right, great news, everybody. We only have one more driving challenge left to do in the entire game. One more, and then we're done forever. You're getting to be a great driver, SpongeBob. Oh, thanks, Mindy. So you deserve a really manly time challenge. Really, really manly. All right, get to the end of the road in time, and I'll give you a reward. I want to remind everybody, Mr. Krabs is currently in danger of being fried to death with the Krusty Krab. But sure. Let's do a time challenge. Actually, let's, let's, let's do two time challenges and a ring challenge. Why not? You know, we got we got time for this, right? Right, guys? We, we, we have time for a ring challenge and two time challenges. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Also, um, if if the plankton statue actually fell and, like, blocked... Assuming it... Unless it actually crushed us, which it wouldn't have, because the game... The game puts an invisible barrier... Before the plankton statue even falls, it puts an invisible barrier up so that if you're, like, once it's, excuse me, once it starts its final fall, um, an invisible barrier, an, an invisible barrier will pop up preventing you from going past it, so you, you don't even have the chance to risk it. Probably so they, they didn't have to animate what, what would have been the, the paddy wagon being crushed to death. I'm guessing that's why that decision was made. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Anyway, um... I, I may have made a mistake because I didn't actually go for the the statue route this time, but I think I don't I don't think it should shave off too much time because I mean it would have put us out right here anyway, so we should be fine I think. Uh, well, I mean that that's that's the plan anyway. We should be okay. I I, I mean if just as long as we don't hit any walls or anything, as long as we don't miss a shortcut up here. If we miss this shortcut, that'll screw us over because that'll screw us over on the on the regular time challenge was missing this. Missing, because it's an incredibly small window you have to fit through. Okay, we made it through. We almost hit the wall, but we didn't. We made it through first try. 
So now we just gotta not hit. Okay, now now we need a hamburger. We need one right now. I think there's gonna be yeah, there's gonna be one right here. We need a, we need a hamburger and we need two nitros. So we're gonna get one right here, and which we're gonna need in a second because the arches are coming up right ahead. Uh, which one? Middle? Nope. I guessed wrong. I guessed wrong. As you can see, it changes every time. So you just gotta slow down a little bit so you can easily adjust your tra trajectory should you need to. And now we need to get another nitro, which we should be able to get one in this park. Oh god. Okay. The oil the oil lava combo strikes again. Give me the hamburger. Thank you. Okay. Uh, nope, don't, don't miss the bridge. Oh, that's, that's the run over. That is this run absolutely over. I, th that wasn't as bad as the first time we missed the thing, but it's, that's still pretty bad. Okay. Well, at least we have a nitro here. So if we go like max, max speed, we might be able to make it. It's going to come down to the wire. We have 20 seconds to get to the end of this thing. It is, this is going to be the closest one yet. It is going to come down to the wire. 15 seconds. We're, we're almost there. Just a little, what's a little bit further to go. 10 seconds. Come on. We're almost there. Nine. Eight. Well, okay, I, th I think we made. It. I think we're good. Almost there. Come on, go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God! Less than a second to spare. Less than a second to spare, but we did it. Guys, here's your reward. That, my friends, is every single driving challenge in the game conquered. One hundred percent. The last one with less than a second to spare on the clock. Wow. Would you like to try and beat your best time on this road? No, no, I would not, Mindy. We sure would, Mindy. No, no, you would not. You would not want to do that. Okay. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. After a lot of turmoil, pain, and agony, we have 100%ed everything up until this point. All the levels, all the Goofy Goofy tokens, all the treasure chests, all the time challenges, all the ring challenges, everything is cleared out 100%. Except for the final boss battle against King Neptune himself, which we will be doing in the next episode, in the grand finale. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to catch you all tomorrow for some more, or sorry, for the finale of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Goodbye.